morning to all the viewers. Okay, my name is Mo Fidaus Bumar Pauzi, lecturer from the Department of Design and Visual Communication, Bertani Mo Azam Shah. So I will explain to you on the topic DVG Puzzle 32 Motion Graphic. Okay. Uh, motion Graphic exposes students to the application used in the industry for developing motion for broadcast identification, opening title, as well as the production of animated graphics. The manipulation of typography, illustrations, and images will be emphasized following the latest trends. Students are required to produce series of motion graphics for variety purpose content as their project. Okay. Uh, I will explain to you upon uh, completing uh, this course, students will be able to describe briefly the background, history, the application, and the basic elements for developing motion graphics. They can implement the elements and application in developing the various contents of motion graphics. They can manipulate creative knowledge of typography, illustration, and digital images in the project of motion graphics. And the last one is to extract a motion graphics project appropriately to suit the current trend according to the trends of electronic media production industry. Okay, uh, in this syllabus, uh, we're going to learn about the overview of motion graphics. This topic defines the motion graphics structural background of animated graphics and the open titles. This also includes the current trends of motion graphics as a means for communication in electronic media. Okay, in chapter 2, we will learn about the application of motion graphics. This topic discusses the various applications in the production of motion graphics in broadcast design. Okay, the third one is basic elements in motion graphics. This topic discusses the basic elements in the production of animated graphics. And the last topic will be motion graphics production process. This topic describes the distribution media and the development of motion graphics basic elements. The different stages in motion graphics production are also discussed in detail. Okay, uh, today we are going to uh, learn about uh, motion graphics uh, under the code DVG5032. Okay, my name is Mokfidos Memo Hongzi. Uh, I'm a lecturer at the Department of Design and Visual from Polytechnic Wazam Shah. Okay. okay, the introduction uh, for motion graphics. As you can see, motion graphics are graphics that use video and or animation technology to create an illusion of, of motion or transforming appearance. Motion graphics are generally short pieces of time-based visual media which combine the language of film and graphic design. This can be accomplished by incorporating a number of different elements such as 2D and 3D animation, video, film, typography, illustration, photography and music. Common application of motion graphics are film title sequences, animated logos at the end of the commercial uh, and lower third elements. Okay, broadcast graphics are motion graphics has a strong presence in television. Commercial graphics, entertainment and show packaging graphics are just a few of the values in which motion design is found. Okay, some history. Yeah, there have been presentations that could be classified as motion graphics, such as the uh, 1800, other sources such as the 2003 Macworld Conference and Expo website, claim that it started in the 1990s. Motion graphics. The term motion graphics originated with video editing and computing perhaps to keep pace with newer technology. Before computers were widely available, motion graphics were costly and time consuming, limiting their use to only high budget film and TV products. With the reduced cost of producing motion graphics on a computer, the discipline has been more widespread use. Okay, next point is with the availability of desktop programs such as Adobe After Effects, Discrete Combustion, and Apple Motion, motion graphics has become increasingly accessible. Motion graphics continues to evolve as an art form with incorporation of sweeping camera parts and 3D elements. Maxon Cinema 4D is the industry standard for adding such effects and is highly favored for ease of use, integration with Adobe After Effects, and Mission of the whole graph two seconds. Motion design is the art of graphic design with the context of motion graphics such as film, video, or computer animations. Examples include the typography and graphics you see as the titles for film or the spinning three dimensional logo at the end of the TV commercial. Although this art form has been around for decades, the graphics, the typography, and the visual effects within these mediums have become more, much more elaborate and sophisticated. The dramatic ele elevation of this art form is largely due to technology improvements. 
typical motion designer is a person trained in traditional graphic design who has learned to integrate the elements of time and space to his or her existing skill set of design knowledge. Motion designers can also come from filmmaking or animation backgrounds. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Uh, sir, yes. well, I, want, I would like to ask you what are the other tools that can be used in motion graphics? Okay, besides After Effects, uh, Adobe Premiere is also used in editing uh, in, in the videos of motion graphics. Sir, what are the process in creating a motion graphic? Okay, creating a motion graphic. Okay, the first process is uh, generating ideas. And the next one is sketches. And you will also need it to create a storyboard of your idea. Uh, sir, what is uh, other aspect in animation? Okay, the aspects in animation is shape and color and texture. Okay, getting started with motion design. Okay, to start with an idea of what you want to communicate. If you have an idea, it will be great for your motion graphic. Uh, for example, animation or sequence of your own video. Okay, uh, the next step will be make sketches with the mouse, by hand, by tearing up sheets from fashion magazine, by photography, whatever feels right to it. Okay, next one will be make storyboard before animating to visualize your idea and then plan the project workflow. For example, access separation in subparts and scenes. The animation expects uh, shape, change in position and becomes a loop. Most often, a spatial displacement is accompanied by changes in shape, color and texture of the object. More precisely, of the object's perceived image. So in the foundation of the animator's skills lies the ability to persuasively combine different aspects of motion. Shape is perhaps most affected by, the, by an object's actual motion and it's easy to understand why both shape and position are spatial features. And when we put the object in motion as a whole, it is only natural to expect that parts of its control will, to the same extent, space relative to each other. When this is neglected in computer animation, the result of solid volume motion may reflect the shape of mechanistic. Shaping motion is not always necessary or feasible. To prevent motion from moving monotone, some method can be used to modify the motion pattern itself. Okay, the next one will be color texture. Disney movies, waiting as they are in animated shape of object, are mostly static, although it's admittedly very colorful, the expert of color and texture. Modern computers that actually have transformed the flat color animation cells with uniform black outline into a way of stylization rather than a true technical necessity. Okay, it is easy to algorithmically change not only the outline of the animated subjects, but the color and texture of the interior as well, with the overwhelming abundance of options, tools, and effects in graphic programs. Once again, the principle of referring to the physical world for guidance should be used. During motion, it can be the brightness and the lesser extent saturation because very lighting conditions along the motion path can turn a monotonous linear motion into an idea. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.